hello my friends welcome back to my channel my name is Bion and I am from the Caribbean country of St. Kitts and Nevis located in the Eastern Caribbean two miles apart two islands two miles apart one country separated by water one flag one um, national anthem two governments very unique country check it out on YouTube make sure to zoom in on the map and you'll find us right next to Antigua in the Eastern Caribbean my friends my name is Bion the name of this channel is Bion in Africa um, I'm not in Africa right now I'm in Sweden Scandinavia and we have a very interesting sensitive topic for you today my friends now feminism is an important subject we must talk about it because the Western world believes in feminism. I am um, finding out now. I'm in Sweden right now. I am qualified to talk about this topic because I would have spent time, four months, I would have lived in Africa for, visited Uganda, visited Kenya. Make sure to check out those channels, um, those um, videos on my channel. Look in the playlist, Uganda playlist, Kenya playlist. You will see all those videos. Make sure to like those videos and share them with all your friends and family. I'm also from the Caribbean. I was born and raised in St. Kitts and Nevis. So, of course, my island was colonized by the Europeans. The United Kingdom, to be specific, was colonized by England, the UK. So, I understand European culture very well. And I also spent time living in America, my friends. So feminism is um, taking the world by storm. But feminism in Sweden is quite different to feminism in Africa and the Caribbean. Make sure before I go on to subscribe right now. I realize a lot of you are watching the videos but you are not subscribing. It is very important that you subscribe to my channel to support my journey, our journey, which is bridging the gap between Africa and the Caribbean islands. A very important project that I am embarking on and I need your continued support so that I can continue this very important journey of bridging the gap between Africa and the Caribbean. So by supporting me, you're supporting the journey and we are supporting our black African community. If you're watching from America, the African Americans, we are all brothers and sisters separated by slavery and colonialism. Same with Africa, same with the Caribbean as well, the black Caribbean. Now my friends, watch the videos, like the videos, share them with all your friends and family. Um, feminism in Sweden is very different to feminism in Kenya, Uganda, and all parts of Africa. Let me explain what I'm saying to you, my friends. It is very different to feminism in the Caribbean as well. For example, feminism in Sweden, I realize from my observation, I've been observing the women here, and they are very masculine. The vibe that I'm getting from the women here, they are very masculine. You can see that they believe that they, you know, they can do everything men can do. You know, there's a saying that women, there, there's normally um, some statements made that women can do everything men can do. Um, women power, um, whatever a man can do, a woman can do. Um, that is true. Yes, but in Sweden, they're taking that very, very seriously, my friends. The women here are very masculine you can see that they in my view from what i see they are trying to be men they are not that feminine when i look at them i look at how they walk look at how they move around they're moving very masculine my friend lots of tattoos women with lots of tattoos um they're wearing long pants um they're very masculine so I think they're taking the feminism to another level. Whereas in Kenya, the women are 
strong. They are independent. They can do everything men can do. They do everything. They cut grass. They drive trucks. They do everything men can do. But the difference is, my friends, Kenyan women and African women are very feminine. Sometimes I wonder, I was amazed in Kenya, how can these women um, be so confident um, in doing everything men can do? They're independent, but they remain very feminine. So it's like they take the Western world um, being independent and uh, um, they can do everything men can do, but they're not losing their culture. They remain very feminine and that is what I like, my friends. I find that type of feminism very important and I believe in that type of feminism. Now in the Caribbean, the island that I'm from, St. Kitts and Nevis, a country, Twin Island Federation, it's a mixture of both. You have the Swedish type feminism and mixed with the African type feminism because you know the Western world the Caribbean is in the Western world and it is influenced by the Western world. So they're trying, in the Caribbean, a lot of women are trying to be Western women. And they're trying to be um, just like Western women. But their African culture is still very strong. So you have a little bit of mixture between European feminism and African feminism. And I would have explained to you my um, findings in Kenya, for example, Uganda, um, for example, the uh, Ugandan women are very, 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 very feminine. They're definitely not trying to do anything men can do. They love being a woman. They love submitting to men. They believe in the traditional roles of um, what a man does. Um, um, man do its part, women do its part, and they blend right in with that. Kenya, on the other hand, um, is a little bit different, but it is still um, the same as Uganda. The women in Kenya, they would submit to a man and still be independent and still be strong and still do all that thing that the Western world is saying about women should do, woman power and all of that. They still do all of that, but they remain very submissive and um, very feminine. And I find that very attractive, my friends. And um, I'm not liking the Swedish type of feminism very well because uh, I could see the men here. I look at the men here and they look confused. They look very, very confused. They don't know whether they should be feminine or masculine because when they look at the women all around the women reminds them of themselves so that is confusing the men in Sweden and you see them wandering around um, they don't know whether they, they should be masculine or feminine so they're kind of in the middle and they're a little bit timid whereas in Kenya the men and Uganda example in Kenya and Uganda, I've been to Ethiopia too, the same thing, Egypt as well, the same thing. The men are very, very confident. They are very confident, my friend. They are definitely, they know they are a man, they know they are a strong man, and they walk like a man, you could see. They're confident because, why is that? It is because the women there in Kenya, Uganda, all parts of Africa, um, accept their role of being a woman and they're very feminine so that boosts the strength of the men but when you have a society where women are trying to be just like men and they give you a masculine type of um, vibe that confuse the men because they it takes it like it takes a power away from the men and that is what I'm seeing here in Sweden. Of course, they're not going to take my power away because, you know, I'm a strong man, a masculine man. I believe in that, my friend. I believe in traditional um, roles. A woman can be strong. A woman can be independent, but they don't have to be like a man. Why would I want a woman that's like a man? 
I don't want that. I want a woman who is a woman for her qualities, her feminine qualities, my friends. That is what I want. And that is why I could never see myself living in this country, Sweden, because of that. The feminism is too strong, my friends. It's too powerful here. Um, it's too powerful. I like the African vibes. I like the Caribbean vibes as well. Um, that is why I say to you, what we have in Africa and the Caribbean is special. We shouldn't try to be like nobody. Don't try to be like nobody else, my friends. Let us be like ourselves because we have a unique culture. Everybody envy our culture, my friends. So make sure to subscribe to my video. We are growing nicely. Right now we are over 7,000 subscribers. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. And that is because of all your support so continue to share my videos continue to like the videos and by doing that you will be supporting the journey of bridging the gap between africa and the caribbean my friends thank you for watching this video um, and i'll see you again in the next video make sure to comment your thoughts under this video it's very important that you comment because by commenting you give me your feedback, what you think of the video. If you disagree with it, you agree with it. You um, don't like the topic, you like the topic. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts because when you let me know your thoughts and give me feedback, that is how I improve this channel. And that is why I, um, I, that is how I will continue to bring to you um, better and better videos as the days go by my friends i will be leaving sweden soon i won't be tell you i won't tell you yet which country i am going to but um that will be coming soon my friends so stay tuned to my channel the journey continues i am not in africa right now but the mission is strong and the mission is constant and the mission is bridging the gap between Africa and the Caribbean islands. Sometimes you have to come out of the Caribbean and Africa in order to strengthen your goals and your dreams. And that is what I am doing. You have to come out before you go back. Come out, get, gather strength and come back stronger. That is what I'm doing. Because there are a lot of Caribbean people, a lot of Africans living in Europe. So I can bridge the gap from right here. But of course, I'm not going to stay here forever. I'm moving around and continue to watch my videos. Because very exciting videos are coming, my friends. The journey continues. My name is Bjorn. And this is my channel. I would have started my channel like four years ago, over four years ago. And it took me almost four years to get a thousand subscribers. And imagine now, just over four years, I am on the road to 8,000 subscribers. Soon I will be over 10,000 subscribers going up the hill to 20,000. Then I'm going to 50,000, then over 100,000. My friends, the journey is unstoppable and the journey is limitless my friends sky is not the limit i am going above the sky to the stars way above everything else my friends and that is the, how serious i am in bridging this gap between africa and the caribbean if you like the video make sure to click like and share it with all your friends and family and subscribe to my channel subscribe again and subscribe again like 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 share 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 and much love i'll see you again in the next video bye bye